okay uh, in this video we're gonna learn that uh, how to set up or to create a chart of account in sage 50 so we have this maintain tab at the top you can click this maintain tab and here we have this option chart of accounts click it and this window will open okay so first we have this account ID you need to give a unique account ID or unique number range so I'm gonna follow this chart of accounts so we have this 1001 that is account ID description the name that is the ledger account that is cash on hand and the account type that is cash so how are we gonna set up this in sage 50 so we have first GLID 1000 uh, 101 tab and this is what cash on hand tab and this is account type that is cash and we have so many like different standard default account types we have in sage 50 so because that is cash on hand so it comes under the cash right you can click this option save or you can click this option save in new I'll prefer alt s is the short key because right now if you guys see the cursor is here if I press alt s it will move back to account ID so I can work more faster so now I'm gonna create the next one that is 106 tab that is let's suppose to buy Islamic bank and remember the cash petty cash and all your bank accounts they all coming under this cash account type we don't have any bank as a account type in sage so all your cash petty cash they all comes under the cash so alt s again then I'm gonna create 107 accounts receivable that is an important account without this account you're not able to create your customers this is a very important account so that is account receivable you can click save and then 108 that is inventory account inventory account and that is another important GL account so that is inventory save it then it will create a fixed asset account so that is 112 tab that is building account so that is fixed asset alt s then we have accounts payable 201 tab that is accounts payables tab and that comes under the accounts payable also then save then we have after accounts payable we have accumulated depreciation account for building so it is 208 tab ACC accumulated depreciation for for building and it comes under the accumulated depreciation account and then save it then we have 209 sorry 301 tab that is a capital account capital account comes under retained earnings save it then we have 401 that is a sales account that comes under the income save it then we have 501 tab it is a purchases account under expenses save it and then we're gonna create some expenses because 
our next topic is related with the journal entry so we need some ledgers to debit or credit the GL accounts so that is electricity expense account save it then we have 905 that is telephone expense account alt s and then we have wages 910 that is wages expense alt s and then 911 that is rent expenses alt s and save it so that is how you will create chart of account in sage 50 okay and you can ver check it from here if you want to change something you can just click it and change this account and remember this account type is very important if you save it and then you enter the transaction in it like if you enter an opening balance then you're not able to delete this account right now we just created and if I want to delete it I can delete it right so that is how we create this chart of account in sage 50